Boom, let's take a look at this thing. There it is. <laughs> what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Miguel and you're watching Miguel EDC, the channel where we go over everything EDC gear here. Today I got another package to unbox for you all. That's right, we're gonna be getting into a brand new knife in the channel, so I'm excited for that. This knife came in as part of Lef Lefty EDC's knife pass around. So I'm excited about this one because it is a brand, if it is what I think it is, and you guys already know by the title and thumbnail, if it is what I think it is, I'm excited for this knife. It is a brand, a company that I haven't seen yet, and I'm excited to you know learn about their knives, see the style of knives that they do and stuff like that. So we're gonna be getting into the box here. Keep in mind there'll be affiliate links for this knife and any other knife you see in the channel. Those affiliate links are down below and they do help out the channel when you use them, but that is entirely up to you. Doing the honors today, we have the Vosteed Raccoon, this awesome EDC knife right here. This one was sent in to the channel by Vosteed to unbox and review, and so far, it's really been a blast. It really is everything that everyone has been hyping it up to be, so I'm excited to be doing the review on this guy here very soon. Before we get into the package, really quick, we got a letter here from Tim School of Fish. I just wanna crack it open right here and show you guys what goodies we have inside of this bad boy all right let's see let's see and i'm doing it on this side because the address information is on the other side and okay you know <laughs> you know you have a good knife when yeah that's, that's everything you know that it's a good knife when <laughs> you go ahead and uh, add a new shape to uh the card here it says miguel thanks for all the support keep crushing it my friend wishing you continued success warm regards tim and tim you gotta check out his channel you guys uh he goes by tim school of fish he just sent me some stickers here i love it brother thank you so much for sending some swagger my way guys check out tim school of fish's channel uh he makes awesome knife content he's uh, really been on a crusade with fixed blades and uh traditional nice lately so if you're into that again check out his channel a little bit of uh, fishing gear going on too so if you're into that again tim school of fish here on youtube that being said let's see this knife here again comes from alex and i'm gonna put his channel right here below so you can check him out as well let's go ahead and make a quick cut right here all right that feels like a good spot to make a cut right there and got quite a lot of tape going on on this one <laughs> let me see i'm gonna try to do it here all right make a cut right there boom and yes i know it is upside down just bear with me i right, don't need to make any other cuts not not really i realize my address is on the other side so i'll be taking everything out from here all right packaging tape and everything and boom check this out oh we got Quite a lot going on here. Okay, looks like two knives. <laughs> I'm in for a real treat here, so let's get this out the way. So we have a knife here. We're gonna be going over that bad boy in just a moment. And uh, first of all, we have the Devo Knives box. Let's check this one out. If you guys are ready, I'm ready. Again, affiliate links down below if you wanna check these out. All right, boom, let's take a look at this thing. Oof. There we go. Look at that black and white combination going on. We have a cleaning cloth and we are working with, let's see, looking for the model name here. Boom, the Growler Black Wash. Black Wash. So yeah, it looks like we have 144 CM steel going on with a white G10. And the Devo Nice uh, is a brand collaboration from Kevin Johnson, AKA Lefty EDC and Colin Mason Pier, CM Designs on IG. Uh, we recently did an unboxing of the Devo Knives Nip. This is a White Mountain Knives exclusive, so check out this guy if you haven't already done so. The unboxing is live on the channel and the review is coming up very, very soon. So without further ado, let's see what this guy is all about. We'll get this guy out of frame for a second. See what we have going on here with the growler. All right, take a look. First impression, 
that G10 feels nice and smooth. All right, we got the wire pocket clip going on there and it is reversible, of course, in true lefty friendly fashion. Of course, you know, lefty EDC and all. Deep pocket carry, all right, nice back spacer here matching the whole black and white aesthetics. This definitely gives me a uh, very strong Stormtrooper vibes. You have the Devo Nice Pivot logo going on there, which is very unique to them. It's nice and embossed, if you will, uh, like actually drilled in there you go all blacked out right there and uh, this one seems to be a spidey flick reverse flick and thumb stud opener so let's get it open here shall we you guys are ready i'm ready here we go boom check this thing out holy smokes all right now we're talking here boom check it out it is a liner lock right and again we have 154 cm steel going on so the thumb deployment is money this thing is on ball bearings all right let's see boom yeah let's see yeah there we go now i'm calibrating the feel for it there we go i think fires really good reverse flick there it is okay i'm uh getting a feel for a brand new knife so this one requires a build a really good amount of pressure here the d10 is very strong there it is <laughs> getting a feel here for that that d10 is nice and strong right there all right yeah so yeah you gotta put a really mean it really put some enthusiasm into flicking the knife bam all right so reverse flick thumb deployment can you front flip it yeah that's that's not happening i don't think i don't think it was intended to be a front flipper but uh you could do the slow thumb opening right there boom do the spidey drops there we go well bam and uh, I gotta tell you, this is a very, very slicey edge right here. This thing looks very nice. It has the black coating going on right there. Not sure if that is DLC or just a black coat going on this bad boy. Now, again, it's not brand new out of the box. This knife has been making its rounds through uh, Lefty EDC's knife pass around. And uh, yeah, you can see it has you know some wear on the blade. You can tell there. And this is a very, very slicey blade. So look how, again, look how slim, right? How narrow that blade is. We can get a quick, let's see, read on the blade stock thickness here. Boom, 0.12 inches, 0.12 right there on the blade. So you know it's going to slice. Is this a hollow grind or a flat grind? It looks a lot like a flat grind honestly so you have a flat grind going up until this point here nice little switch going on there the jimping is done very very well here from one end to the other right so you got plenty of jimping going on whether you want to you know choke over here there is a very nice good finger chiller right here in you know typical devo nice fashion right there just like on the nip allows you to forward choke right there so same deal going on here with this bad boy right? Well, you can forward choke right there and again you have plenty of jimping going on very similar to emp edc knives i like knives that have jimping going on all throughout the spine of the blade it really is good for you to get some control over your cuts and uh, ergonomically speaking this thing is really really good yeah i don't i don't find any sore spots anywhere it feels good the pocket clip is nice and comfortable too so the harder i bear on it here right no issues it is ergonomically very very friendly of a knife that's for sure so making some good first impressions there it's a drop shutty yeah it sure is let me check out the action there boom maybe you have to give it a little bit of a shake but yeah those ball bearings work really really good very very smooth boom very very nice is it uh, nice and aligned you guys be the judge right there yeah that looks pretty aligned and right on the money to me i gotta tell you i like the really white and black aesthetics to this knife very stormtrooper looking once again very nice and comfortable in the hand let's do some quick rapid fire size comparisons here shall we just to give you a ballpark the pm2 there the pair of three so it's gonna be more so perhaps closer to pair three territory you know spider co pair three more than than let's say something like a pm2 would be a little bigger no doubt 
Uh, what about something like the Demco 8020.5 there on the shark's foot blade? Very comparable. Probably the growler being a tad bit a tad bit longer by a hair. Of course, we know the shark cub is going to be a little bit shorter of a knife. All right, so that gives you an idea there as well. I just unboxed this knife in the channel, the review. It's coming up here very, very soon. We'll do a couple more. Here is the wrap model one and here is the wrap model two all right wrap model two boom boom check that out right there all right and of course let's bring the cousin brother here <laughs> the devo nip right so there it is the growler next to the nip and we'll toss in the vasti raccoon which is a knife we use to open the box just to give you another idea there very close to the raccoon like probably might be around the same overall length as a raccoon so if you have a raccoon then you know exactly the length there so yeah you just doing a quick impressions on this knife you just saw me unbox it take it out of the box so obviously this is not going to be a full comprehensive review video or anything i'm going to be edc and carrying this knife for about a week or so before i have to send it forward to the next youtuber that's going to be reviewing this bad boy but yeah right off the bat making a really good first impression right ergonomically really good deep pocket carry clip reversible it's it's really good right uh slicer all right let's go ahead and do a quick paper cutting test here shall we let's see this is not a uh, factory edge but it has seen some use let's see how it does with the paper all right still can get some swirls going on right there let's get some slices here boom yeah this thing is gonna put in work so you have a drop point blade you have quite a lot of belly going on on this guy it is a tall blade indeed and let me get a feel for that edge well that edge is pretty clean there's no no nicks or dings or nothing like that going on so it will definitely cut are you guys rated on a scale from one through ten how sharp is this guy or how sharp has it remained let me know in the comments. So we know it can cut paper all day, every day. That is nothing new. But can it cut some cardboard? All right, let's check that out. Got some cardboard here. This is the diapers box flavor of the week. Remember, we're cutting cardboard. Don't cut perpendicular like this, but rather at an angle like that. And those cuts are going to look something like this. You ready? All right, there we go. So I had to play around with the belly a little bit because just been so used to one cliff blades recently, like on this Civivi Sentinel Strike. And of course on these you have a straight edge, whereas on something like the Growler it's more of a belly. It's a good cutter, right, for table cutting and things like that. You can also do a little pinch grip here if you want to use that tip, you just have to bend the wrist a little bit more. But uh, yeah, let's go back to these cuts, bam, so yeah, it's, it's going to slice. Definitely no doubt about that in my mind. All right, you guys be the judge. This is going to be a challenging portion because it's double the cardboard. All right, so that's like stepping it up, stepping it up a bit. And there it is. Yeah, I cut that without any issues. Bam, and we'll do one last one. Here we go. Yeah, it can do some damage. It's definitely a slicer. I can see this thing being a cardboard destroyer. And the ergonomics do the part because it means that, you know, you're not going to get sore, uh, a sore hand or what have you. Of course, you could always wear gloves if you're going to be cutting cardboard for a long period of time. But uh, yeah, let's see. Reverse grip feels good in the hand as well. Honestly, this, this thing has a lot of potential. I'm not sure on the price. Again, I'll be linking this in the description if you want to check out the price. Right? As I'm unboxing it, you're seeing my very first reactions on this knife. Well, there you have it, guys. There are the two knives we just unboxed. First, the Devo Growler. Super impressed with this one. Quite a chunk of working blade right there. So I'm excited to EDC this knife. And here is the Tuya Mutt. All right, the Mutt right here. Boom, this thing is super, super elegant. What a piece. What an elegant EDC right here. This thing is money. I'm excited and looking forward to EDCing this knife as well. Guys, you guys already know the drill. I'm going to be EDCing these guys 
guys for quite some time for a little bit expect those review videos here in the channel very soon if you haven't liked the video by this point guys smash that like button right it really helps out the channel a ton to come up with more and more videos like this for you guys in the future if you're on your way out make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can always see quality knife content like this on a daily basis if you want to take your support a step further check out the patreon link down below where you can support the channel for as little as one dollar one dollar a month if you made it to the very end guys chances are the review for the msi is already live in the channel this thing is a truck a beast of a knife from microtech with the ram lock so check out that video next if it's ready i'll put a card right here for you guys to check it out thank you guys for hanging out with me until the end i love you all and i'll see you on the next one peace